hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. By the way, I'm going to extend the garden down more because this year, last year we stopped here, which is a pain because you can, there's still grass here. So I'm gonna go all the way down to, to here with it. So we're gonna extend it down to here because hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday and today I'm home alone for now. Well, both my parents will be home here in a little bit because my dad had doctor appointment and he couldn't drive himself because his eye doctor appointment he can't drive afterwards. So my mom had to take him. So they're both here, but not here. And also, why did my pawpaw tree kadoosh? Look, what? Whoa, why are they so dry? Holy moly, they're dry. Why are they so dry? What is happening? They need water, like, now? Why did they need water again? Holy moly, they're so dry. Anyways, I guess I'll talk to you guys a little bit. Let's get this day started. So, all right, guys, before we get this day start, uh, I'll tell you guys, uh, to really like, subscribe, and click the button. I'll talk to you guys a little bit. So, whoop. Hi, guys, I'm back. Oh, update on my computer. So, Ever since I updated my HDD to an SSD, my computer has actually been slower, which is weird. I thought I was got to reinstall Windows on it, which I couldn't do because I need to. I wanted to reinstall Windows, but I couldn't do because I didn't have a bootable USB, and I actually don't have a. I have my Windows disk, but it's not on a USB, and right now my Windows is actually un is my disk on my computer is actually uninstalled because I did use a SD cable to plug in my SSD because I ran a cable. My SD cables haven't came yet, so they should come in a couple days, but. Hopefully, I can order some <clears throat> USB so I can just, just get bootable USB because that's the easy way to do it. And anyways, so, and I think that's what, also what the heck was going on with uh, my Java. Because for some reason, it uninstalled completely. Don't ask me what the heck that was about. And then I couldn't get Windows to work. The store to work. So basically, I fixed it last night. I updated Windows and it actually fixed all my problems that I've been having my SSD boots way faster now. Everything's way faster. Like before, I would have to start my computer, restart the computer. If I didn't, then my SSD would go to 100% constantly it wouldn't go down and then i would have to uh what was it and then i would have to wait like 10 minutes for it to for it to go from 100 to like to like three percent where it should be at oh my gosh what's wrong with me but i updated it last night and it fixed my minecraft problem which i can i downloaded java again which is awesome so I got Minecraft back on my career. I didn't lose any of my save files, which is good, because I didn't delete the save files. I just deleted the app for some reason. Don't ask me what that was about. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, it, uh, it, uh, works. So, yay, I got it all working right. Finally, my computer is tip-top, tippity shit. Also, I don't know what I did, because I signed out all my accounts, because they said that could help, because the Windows store wasn't loading right. So I signed out all my Windows. I signed out of Windows on my computer. I signed out of Windows on the store. I signed out of Xbox, all that stuff, because I have Xbox. I didn't even know that was a thing. But uh, I signed everything, re-signed back in, re I updated my Windows. I don't know if it was Windows update or what, but it helped out my computer a lot. So now it's all working again. I got it fixed exactly how it went. And also, we're out here in the garden because I'm looking at this to see how dry it is, which it's not very dry. It's still pretty muddy. So I'm going to give it until tomorrow. It should dry out today and then tomorrow. We should be able to dig this up, hopefully. <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. By the way, I'm going to extend the garden down more because this year, last year we stopped here, which is a pain because... You can, there's still grass here. So I'm gonna go all the way down to, to here with it. So we're gonna spend it down to here because I don't wanna have to come through the lawnmower because it makes it harder with the lawnmower when I gotta come through here. So we're gonna spend it like a good three feet down. Maybe, and if I feel like it, I don't know if we're gonna have, I don't know how well, it's, we'll see how well it digs up because there's a lot of sod in here, like grass sod. So we'll see how well it digs up. It still needs, yeah, still needs raked off. But depending on how well I dig this up, <coughs> I might dig up another garden over here like a massive garden over here. Because this might be... This garden might be, just be half of this. might be corn. Half might be potato next year. And then the garden over here would be viney stuff. Uh, I want to grow... I want to grow... Uh, what do you call it? I want to grow a bunch more spaghetti squash. Because the spaghetti squash did amazing. I want to grow a big patch of spaghetti squash. Like two or three rows of spaghetti squash. Just get a bunch of them out here. I want to grow... Like I want to go from like here. This is going to be a pretty big garden. I'm going to go from here. I want to stand from where I am right here. Right here. I'm gonna go down to there and make it probably over to here. This will be a pretty big garden. It like triple our garden size. We'll probably this will be a big plot if I do it right. And this will be like the biggest plot we have, and it'll be the best one because I don't know if we'll dig up the sod or not because the sod is hard to dig up. Like this grass is. If you ever had to dig a new garden, this grass is really hard to dig through. I don't know if we're a rotary could do it or not. But I'm gonna try it maybe. I'm gonna dig up and I'm just gonna replant it in rye and our cover crop. Why is this open? Why is this open? Did someone steal our gas? What is happening? What is actually happening? What? 
Did someone, oh my, why is there so much water in it? That can't be good. That can't be good. Oh my, what happened here? What the heck happened there? I have no idea what happened there. I don't know if someone tried to store gas or if they just didn't close it. I remember, I don't remember being open like that. I have to go watch some little videos. I have to tell my parents about that. That's pretty insane. Uh, anyways, yeah, so I want to extend this one a little bit. This one next year will probably be half corn, half potatoes. So we have like a block of corn on one side and the potatoes on the other side. It'll be that. And then the, other, the garden over here will be uh, tomatoes, peppers, uh, zucchini, and cold weather stuff. Broccoli, cabbages, lettuce, kale, Swiss chard, that stuff. And then down here we'll have the Vani stuff in this big giant plot. We'll have uh, a big pl plot of whatever we want to plant down here. Be it, uh, we'll have like, we'll have like one long, maybe two rows of cucumbers. Like a row of uh, sweet potatoes, maybe two rows of sweet potatoes, and then we'll probably have like two or three rows of uh, spaghetti squash. And then maybe if I have enough room, maybe a row of watermelons. I literally like watermelons, but I've never I've had hardly any luck growing them around here. Because you gotta start watermelons really early around here. You got, the best way to start watermelons here is probably start them inside and transplant them. But watermelons are very delicate, so they don't like being transplanted too well. So you gotta be really careful with them. And when we do that, we have issues with uh. Yeah, we just have issues. I can't. I don't have enough room to transplant. I need like a greenhouse to make transplants like that because all we do is put them in windows, and these windows don't get enough sunlight in the springtime. To they get really leggy, and it's really hard. We can do tomatoes because we have enough room for tomatoes in the back side of the house. But these windows are never. We need like a greenhouse outside that we could heat up maybe. Like I want to put like a greenhouse like right here so we can use the electric out here and put like a space here if it get too cold. You know, or some kind of heater to keep it warm enough to actually do uh, stuff. And I hope this comes back because this is what the lawn did last year. I had one of these do this last year, lost all of its uh, things, and then it didn't come back. So I don't know what's happening here. I hope it comes back. This one didn't do it yet, which is good. I don't know why it's so dry. Anyways, guys, I'll come back in a few minutes. So whoop, and these are going to get blown over. It's really windy out here. Let me move these somewhere because they don't get blown over. Too bad. Yeah, if I put on here, chickens will probably eat them, but. Better than getting blown off the porch, I guess. Hey, anyway, guys, now I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Whoop. Hi, guys, I'm back. My don't dad's here, right there. You haven't been filmed in forever. People are worried about you. I don't want to be you might want to move that so you don't see it on camera. What? That. What? That. Flip it over. Your medical records. I don't know. It probably has your name on it and stuff. Don't show it. Anybody. Exactly. Don't show it. I don't see it. Woman! <laughs> hey, look at my eyeball. Ugh. People, I don't look good. You want to see my stomach? You still have pictures I have there. I don't know. You can't be as bad as me. I left them in the hospital bathroom. Someone's going to steal my identity. Phone number and name. and. I hope so. I can't believe I did that. I was poked and prodded. Was you poked and prodded? Just my eyes. <laughs> I got three, I got two shots and blood drawn, and I felt like a porcupine. Yeah. Oh, I'm still sore, man. What do you say about you? You stay saying anything? No, not really. They're kind of worried about my blood pressure being kind of high. It's not high, but it's not good either. They, they's happy I, yeah. It's happy I lost a bunch of weight. They said my BMI went way down. Yeah. Seriously. I got probed a few times. <laughs> you got probed? <laughs> Did Jake, like, Jake gets broke when he goes to the vet? Something like that. So, <laughs> that was an eye doctor appointment. Yeah, I know you swore. Uh-huh. Hey, I just feel like something. What? My eyes are cluttered up, I can see now. Does it look like you're high? Let me see. Maybe. <laughs> uh. Uh, well, what, do you have anything to say to anybody since you haven't been on here in a while? No, I don't. Say hi to people. My adoring fans, your fans, everyone's fans. You gonna say anything? No. Nothing? Man, you quit filming. You quit filming. I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> you can't knock me out if I'm already knocked out myself. <laughs> I don't even know what. Oh, that camera's hurt my eyes. Shut it off. Oh, oh. <laughs> How does the camera hurt your eyes? The bright lights. There's no bright light on this camera. I don't have a. Shut it off. You shut it off first. I'm gonna shut you off here, man. <laughs> I love annoying you. It's fun. Oh, yeah, what about some pepper spray? Whoosh. Get that stuff away from me. <laughs> I'll pepper spray you. Why? Well, I didn't know where mine's at. 
I still want to test that old pepper spray out that, that went bad, which I can't even believe has an expiration date. Well, it's still probably good. They probably not as effective. You need pepper spray on camera. Then. Okay, fine. Pepper spray me. Could be a million dollars. Pepper thing. spray me and I get to pepper spray. You pepper spray me and I get to tase you. Dill. Okay. <laughs> Dill. I. <laughs> People say pepper spray is worse. Well, I get to tase you. Actually, I don't even think I should tase you because you got all. Well, it might mess you up. Yeah, it might. Oh, well. <laughs> do you hear this is like this? Do people... I'll, I'll do it for you. <laughs> well, what? Do it for me? I'm the one getting pepper sprayed. Yeah, I'm getting tased. But... I... <laughs> Dude, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, fine. You dye your hair you pink, I'll dye mine purple. Nah. <laughs> How about you dye your eyebrows pink? <laughs> Could you no, even I'm go to work like that? Could you even go to work like that? Is, don't you have, like, a dress code? I thought you had a dress code at your work. Ah, uh, I would say something, but I won't. Yeah, they don't force it, do they? Ah, uh, no, it's not that. What? I can't tell you. Okay, well, don't tell me in here, then I'll turn this off in a second. Right, Jake? Jake, he's a sleepy boy. I have some people dress. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be a dress code. You you still wear it. I'm supposed to wear a uniform. Yeah, you still wear it. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not quite wearing them. You... <laughs> I wonder why. Cause nobody else wears them. <laughs> eh, that's not it. That's nope, that's not. <laughs> I gain a few pounds. Still... <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Can you shut that off and watch? Can you shut it off? What? What a ham! I'm gonna push that thing. You, you're still paying for it. And now I'm paying for it. Uh You cranky yet? Yes. How cranky are you? <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to show them me dig up the garden with that crazy road tower. It's going to go crazy. I'm going to put this up somewhere. Yeah, do that. Do that. <gasps> what? Come on, just put this. Up. I'm going to put it out there and see if I can actually... I don't know where I'm going to put this. I need like a tripod that actually stands up. Well, get a job and buy one. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> cranky pants. Why are you so cranky for? <laughs> cranky. Oh, people saying, why don't you get a job? <sighs> no, who says this? Everybody. Who's everybody? Everybody. Who's everybody? <laughs> you don't have any friends. Not each other. Friends are people you hang out with, not just at work. When's the last time you hung out with anybody besides me or my mom? Besides the 4th of July. Okay, I don't have no friends. <laughs> <laughs> Anymore. Uh, gee. I don't... Hey, that goes for me too. I don't have hung out with anyone since high school, probably. Yeah. Well, maybe once or twice. It's ridiculous. That's how I'm doing. High school goes and everyone goes their own way and you never see no one again. Yep, I remember how people used to say that's going to happen. We always said, that's not going to happen. People used to tell us, oh, every all oh, people like, once your high school ends, you're never going to see your friends again anyways. And then mm-hmm. high school ha- ends, and then you never see no one. <laughs> Seriously, I, and I didn't believe it. We didn't believe it. Oh, we're never, we'll always see each other, blah, 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 blah all this. Well, <laughs> that didn't happen yet. Actually, <laughs> we all actually went really far away. We all split up pretty far. Half of them went to... A uh, couple of them went right down the road from you. Well, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I didn't know that for like the first year. <clears throat> and then a couple of them moved to another state. And yeah. Yep. All of them have kids now. Just about all of them. Have kids. Just about all of them. I have jobs. Ah, will you stop with that? <laughs> guys, I'm going to get off here. I'll cut back in a few minutes. So, hi, guys. I'm back. Going to go vlog. Didn't do a lot today. It's been, well, I couldn't, I can't really do anything until it dries out. Maybe tomorrow will be dry because it's pretty. The, the drier it is, easier than the road time. Plus, when you do it, it gets if it's, when you do it when it's wet, it clogs up, it gets clumpy, and it's harder on the road tiller. So I'm trying to let it dry a little bit. I might dig up another pot. I'm not sure yet. I don't know how much seeds I have. We'll do that, and then we'll see how many seeds we have tomorrow. And if I have enough seeds left, I'll throw them over the other pot because it's not that big of a pot to have a bunch of seeds left. So I might have enough to do another cover crop on the other one. I'm not sure yet. But anyways, guys, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. So whoop, roll the outro. Bye, guys. I want to tell you guys remember to. Uh, Watch these two videos. Uh, thank you for being this part of the video. You can click below to subscribe. You can watch these or do anything, do nothing. I messed this up. Sorry about that. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. So-